G'day guys and welcome to the channel. Um, today's video is going to be Swedish fire torch versus rocket stove and uh, there's just two old-fashioned styles of heating up or cooking your food, heating up water for coffee and everything without using too much firewood. So what I've done is I cut a tree down in the backyard the other day and so I've got two pieces of timber from the same tree and um, first one, well, this will be the rocket stove, we'll drill him out and then I'll take his outside and we'll cut the grooves in this one with the chainsaw for the Swedish torch. Alright, let's get stuck into it. Here we go. Extender bar broke on the inside, so instead of having that much extension, well, we've only got this much. That's okay. So basically, I've drilled the hole down that deep. So if we go in at about there, we'll be right. Here we go. Perfect, you beauty. All right, so this fella, rocket stove, he's ready to light. Now we'll go outside and we'll get the chainsaw and put the cuts in the Swedish fire torch. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, now we're outside and we're gonna cut the Swedish torch. Okay.
Right, that's a Swedish torch cut. Now we'll set them both up and light them up. Okay guys, um, I've just got some of these fire lighters that I made in my last episode and I'm just going to stuff them into the cracks in both of these bad boys and then get them lit up and see how we go. Here we go. So as you can see, I put a little bit of turps in there just to get it going. So I didn't want to be mucking around all day. <laughs> Okay, we'll see how we go. Okay guys, we're 20 minutes in and uh, what I've learnt from this experience so far is the Swedish candle burns beautifully. It's got plenty of air getting in the cracks. It's beautiful. I'll be able to cook up some water for a, for a coffee or cook up some eggs or whatever, no worries at all. We'll just put that on there. Um, pit stove, yeah, the rocket stove, not so good. Um, <laughs> the, um, the rocket stove, the hole that I drilled was a 32 mil paddle bit, and it's just way too small, and I don't have a bigger drill bit, so. What I've learned from this experience is I'm sure the rocket stove would work well, but uh, it just needs maybe a 60 mil, maybe like two or three inch hole to get plenty of air going up through it. Um, okay, so we're 20 minutes in. You can see it's burning. It's burning, but it ain't it ain't powering. It ain't going too crazy. Um, all right, I'll get back to you. I'll give it another half an hour to see how they go and then we'll wind this video up. Okay guys, I'm gonna wind this video up. Make a lot of smoke, I don't think the neighbors will like that. Um, as you can see here, Swedish torch is burning awesomely. It's um, boiling water. You'd be able to cook on it. There's plenty of light and heat coming off it for camping and staying warm and stuff. Um, Swedish fire. No, sorry. The rocket stove, on the other hand, as I said before, the hole I drilled was too small, which isn't really a fair test on it. I'm sure if I drilled the hole bigger and the little hole on the side bigger, it would have burned a lot better. And uh, But anyway, in winding up, in my, in my opinion, I reckon the Swedish fire torch is the way to go. Alright, I'm going to put these out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.